if you're anything like me, uh, you had no clue what you were doing, you got into beaver trapping. I mean, honestly, it's a big, big world out there. I mean, look around. All that area that you could put a beaver trap in and you have to try to find the pinpoint spot to get a beaver to swim through a 10 inch by 10 inch square. That's hard. I don't care what anyone says, that is very hard. A lot of people tell you, oh, it's easy, You've been doing it for years. Well, yeah, it's why it's easy for you now. It's uh, everyone starts somewhere, so you gotta, you gotta do your research. You gotta do your due diligence, uh, trial and error. I mean, you take a brain surgeon, you think brain surgery went perfect the first time? No, it was all trial and error. When I first got into it, I had no clue what I was doing. I, I didn't trap not one beaver my first year. I ended up catching a muskrat. That was the only thing that I caught was a muskrat and a 330 kind of bear. But I figure as I'm gonna make this video, just to try to give people an idea. So, you know, if you know what you're doing, looking for beaver, this ain't gonna be for you. But if you wanna learn how to try to find sign, beaver sign, what to look for, for all the basic stuff on this one. I'm gonna do probably like a couple parts to this. I'll do one video, how to find beaver sign. Then I'll do another one of how to like, where to set your traps and how to set your traps. Cause you can find a beaver lodge, you know, like this one here. Just cause you found a beaver lodge don't mean you know where to set the traps. You gotta find their entrances. You gotta find bank dens. You gotta find all that. So I'm gonna go through, show what to look for, the basics, bare basics of finding beaver sign and then Next video, because I can't set traps now, beaver season as of my time right now does not open till tomorrow, which sucks because I have all day today I could have set traps. So that means I have to come back next weekend to set them, which is fine. I don't care. I don't mind coming out here. But we're going to go through. I'm going to show you how to find the sign. And then if you find old sign, how to make sure beaver are still in the area. Just because you find a beaver lodge doesn't mean there's beaver still there. Someone could have trapped them all. They could have left. They could have died of disease. You never know. Let's get into it. All right, now that we found our beaver lodge, first thing you want to do is kind of scope the area out. Look around, see if there's, if there's fresh chewed trees in the area, which I got right here. You got fresh chewed trees, you know there's obviously at least one beaver in the area. Uh, beaver's teeth never stop growing. They will continually grow till the day they die. If they don't chew wood, chew down trees, as people think they're just being nuisance, uh, you know, cutting trees down for no reason, well they actually have to. If they, it keeps their teeth filed down. You have your fresh, fresh cut up stuff, uh, you'll see like maybe the top of the beaver lodge might have some fresh uh, chewed up wood sticks and stuff or maybe fresh mud that's that's them just kind of building their house up like basically like us putting a new roof on our house i mean most people know what a beaver lodge is so like i said we got one get it in here all right here it's a pretty decent sized one there's probably a family living in this one we got some fresh chewed branches a fresh chewed tree so first things first if you see a beaver lodge do you know there's probably some beaver there there at least was beaver there and then we went around, we found a fresh chewed anything, you know, sticks, branches, fresh mud, it, whatever. I mean, anything that shows sign that a beaver was in the area. So we know that this guy's here. We know there's probably more around. So I'm going to hop back in the boat. We'll go cruising down the river and we're going to find some more. There's literally a beaver going into the beaver lodge. He's right there. See, you know, there's another entrance that I didn't see. He just went under when less, man, that's odd. I'm going to check that. I'm going to come trap that next weekend. And that's what I go to show. You got to get out and look for beaver sign. I hope my camera or my lens could zoom in far enough to where you could see him swimming. That was so cool. Huh. All right, here's another good sign. You can see right here. Let's see. Right there. It's just a beaver chewing on a tree. I mean, he, there's there's really no other reason I think that he would chew on this tree is other than just to chew on it. I mean, maybe to eat, get a little food out of it. There's a few of them around here like that. So that's another sign. Look for trees that are chewed on. Like I said, big trees, little trees, it don't matter. If it's fresh, you know they're in the area. If it's old, you know they were in the area. So look for other things. Let's go see what else we can find. One thing beaver really love is swamps. One of the main reasons they don't have to dam it off. It's already, the water level pretty much stays what it is all year. I was hoping I could sneak up here and see one. I know they're in here, I've trapped them before. They got a huge ass lodge out in the middle. I'm gonna walk around, see if I can't see any sign of them, but 
best advice I could give you if you don't really know like where in your area to look is get on Google Maps. Just do the satellite view and just start looking for a swamp. I mean, look at all this swamp around here. I, you see this clear as day from Google Maps. It's not like it's a secret. So just go explore, look for, look for sign. I mean, there's, this is all beaten down along the edge. There's fresh chewed stuff. And I see a food cache over here. We'll go look at that in a second. And oh, see like right here, this is a crossover. See if I can get the camera to pick it up. See how it's dented down or dug down and in what they do. They'll come from out in the swamp, they'll swim up, hit this crossover, you can see it's all beaten down, and they go over here, there's another little body of water they go to. If you see a, a crossover, which is pretty much just a little trail from one body of water to another, and the grass is all beat down, you know it's a good sign, but if you see the grass is beat down and you see dirt, it's a real good sign. You know they're there because they're, the grass would grow through the dirt and it wouldn't be there to, or the dirt wouldn't be there, you know? I want to get over here. I trapped, that bank den was over here. There's a beaver over there. I uh, took off. He probably went back in his bank den. I'm going to go check this area though. Another good sign is this right here. It's a food cache. You can see this is an old one. They're probably not going to eat from this. So of course, as, as I'm trying to show you the food cache, my damn battery dies. It never seems to fail and I didn't have one with me. One last thing I didn't get to show you, which I got video of, is the most iconic thing for a beaver is a beaver dam. Everyone knows what a beaver dam is. So say you find a beaver dam, and I had two that are old, built, but still being used. Just because you don't see anything new on them doesn't mean they're still being used. If you find one, explore. Go look for slides where you, it looks like an animal has slid down the bank into the water. Or look for uh, fresh chewed trees. Look for, you'll see branches that have all the bark chewed off them. That's what they've been eating. And you'll look for new, fresh stuff, not old. So if you see something fresh, but the dam's old, you know there's still beaver there. Biggest thing about beaver trapping you have to get out and look. If you sit on your couch, you're not gonna find any, I guarantee it. So get out, if you have a river by, get on the river, go down the river. Just look, look for beaver lodges, beaver dams, uh, beaver where they have chewed on trees, where they've made a food cache, anything like that. And if you find an old one, you say, well, it's old, they're not around here. Look around in the area, I mean, get out and explore. I mean, at the very least, you're out in the, the wilderness. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Another thing you can do too, some people don't really think about it, is roadkill. If you're in an area you're driving down the road and you see a dead beaver because they do get hit by cars, go look in that area. See, look around, see if like, all right, there's a beaver there. Why is there a beaver here? Is there a swamp? Is there a river? Is there a stream? What is it? And if you see it, go look. It, you know, if you see a dead beaver, there's probably more around there. Get out, go explore. If you got any questions, let me know. I'll help. But one thing I say the most out of anything, don't just take my word as gold. I'm not a genius by any means. I'm not an expert by any means. I know enough to trap beaver. Research the internet, look all over, watch videos, read, ask questions and take all that information and make up your own best plan of action with it. Because I guarantee everyone you talk to doesn't know everything. There's a lot of little bits of information in this world that are out there for us to grab. We just have to find it. So. That being said, I'm going to head back and I got to start getting my traps ready for next weekend.